guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Uh, we're going to rock some Britney Spears right now. Uh, actually, it's a really fun song with some really great melodies. And, you know, I was jamming it out. So, you know, consider it a guitar lesson. But I think there's some cool stuff in here. I really do. Um, or I wouldn't be doing it. Check, check, mic, mic, check, mic, mic. You guys ready to rock YouTube? <laughs> anyway, also, thanks for subscribing to my channel here, Marty Music. And clicking that uh, bell notification really helps me out and all that other stuff, you know. Thank you. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to start with the easy just chord progression, but then I'll show you some of the little melodies I was doing and whatnot. So you've got a C minor chord. So we're playing that C minor bar chord across the eighth fret there. And the rhythm. Uh, One, two, three, da 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 da, two, three, ba da da da, two, three, ba ba ba, two, three, da 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 da. It's obviously faster. So C minor, then the change on that verse is E flat major. So I'm playing it right there, but any E flat major, you know. So I'm barring across the sixth fret root on the A string, which is an E flat note, like that. And then a G7, which you could play here. Or right here. If you just played a straight G major, that's gonna work too. Um. <laughs> okay, so, so far we've got the verse. Two, three. Two, three, two, three. E flat major, G7 back to C minor. Okay. Now the chorus, when you listen to the song, it always does a break and then the chorus comes in, but it's basically uh, C minor to E flat major, which is like in the verse. So. Uh, and then um, a half step down, so D major. Then another half step down. Um, so there's two things. There's the uh, first part. Uh, So C minor to do E flat major, half step down. I'm sipping on the C minor again to E flat major, then A flat major, do do do, then G. you know that I'm talking. So the two parts. With the taste of the do do E flat D D five with the C minor E five I'm a A flat major G seven C minor. So that's all there is if you were to play. Honestly, if you played an acoustic cover, you can play both those parts and you're ready to go. If you needed to learn it real quick for some kind of performance or something, you could whip it up by knowing those chords. Um, so let me just show you some of the stuff that's clearly not guitar parts, but it's pretty fun to know. And it's just, I don't know, fun, I guess. But um, so you've got this. And so I'm thinking of C minor. And so you've got what's called the nine there. So it's the, uh, so I'm playing pinky on 10 of the D and then pulling off between the eight and seven. And then seven, eight, so.
and then so I'm going seven, eight, pull off, back to ten on D. And that's the string patch there. Uh, I'm bending the 13th fret, you know, just think C minor pentatonic with some half steps. So I'm bending up 13th fret of the high E and then releasing to the 10. And then that same, I'm pulling off from 11 to 10 and then that root on the 13 of the B. So, uh, All right, so that's one really fun little thing uh, that you can add in there. And then also, uh, So it's like uh, does a little C Dorian here. Um, so eight, ten, eleven, slid up to eighteenth fret. So right back to ten. And this is vocals, but it's fun to have on guitar. I like the melody. All right, so that's fun. And then also, um, just while we're there for the chorus, so think of this little C minor pentatonic right here. Love that, man. These melodies are great. So middle finger on the 12th fret G. I'm in this little C minor extended pentatonic. So 12, 11, 13 on the B. Slid up to 15. So that's that 9 again. And I just slide it back. So then I'm going down that extension. The 12 on the G, 10, 8, slid up to the 11 on the B. And I'm doing it from a half step. So. And then this is pretty fun. So that's, uh, I'm just playing the uh, 13 on the B and 12 on the G. Uh, you're toxic, I'm slipping under. But if you see that pentatonic ba box, you know, you can do add some nuance to it. So, all blues right here. That's right there between the eight and 10 on the G. that blues bend. So I go over 
that root, 10 of the D, up the box, It's got this uh, spaghetti western tone uh, guitar part that I might as well show you. It's probably played on the A string for the just the tone. You know, it's uh, just like whatever spaghetti western effect you can put on it, but it's uh, the root and then the five, like a power chord. And then right there, that E flat, which matches up to the chord. And then the next one, which just goes octave. But it has a lot of really cool, you know, it's got cool tinny reverb and, uh, you know, like tremolo on it. So it just that has a really cool sound to it. The lick itself it fits in there perfectly. So um, that gets you through the song. Hope you guys enjoy it. How's it fun? All right. Hope you guys had fun with it. Thank you for supporting Marty Music. I appreciate, uh, you know, the continued support, especially after this lesson. Am I right, folks? <laughs> anyway, uh, feel free to request stuff. I almost said something else. Request stuff in the comments below. And uh, I appreciate you subscribing and liking the video and all that. So we'll see you later. Chamwow.